Hi and welcome to part 8 in my series of webcasts introducing InfoPath 2007. In this demo I'm going to talk about what to do when you've finished creating your form. When you've put together a form, designed the layout and controls, set validation and conditional formatting, and set up data connections and submit options, you need to actually get the form to the people who have to fill it out. So I'm going to show you how to publish it. Here I have a form I've created. At the bottom of this task menu on the right, there is an option labelled Publish Form Template. InfoPath continues its trend of being straightforward, so I need to click on this option to publish my form. This opens up the publishing wizard, which you can use to distribute the form to users in the appropriate way. There are four options. You can publish a form to SharePoint as an email, as a saved file on a network, or if you have Visual Studio, in such a way that users can install the template on their computer. Generally, the top three will be the most useful. With the third option, you would save the template to a network location you have access to. This could be somewhere on your computer or on a file share. Then anyone with access to that network location can find the form and open up the template to fill it out. The second option can be very useful if you're sending off the form for a one-off situation, or if the people that need to fill out the forms don't have access to the company network or SharePoint. Here I need to name the form, but I'll leave this as the default. Now I can choose if I want to promote any fields from the form. This would allow them to be used by the workflows or displayed in SharePoint libraries and Outlook folders. On this occasion, I don't want to promote any fields. When I click Publish, this creates an email which has the form in the body. I just need to choose who to send the form to and write any introduction text that I want. When I click Send, this message will be sent off and will arrive in the recipient's inboxes, like it were any other email. When those people receive this email, they will be able to fill out the form within Outlook or open it up in InfoPath. I won't actually send this form, instead I'll show one of the other publication options. This time I'll choose to publish to a SharePoint server with the address so it can find the correct sites. There are three options here, a document library, site content type or administrator approved. If I publish the form to a document library, it will be set as the template for that library alone. If I want to use the form in multiple SharePoint sites, I will need to choose the second option. Sometimes permissions and data connections mean that form templates need to be approved by a SharePoint administrator, and that's when I would want to use the third option. For now, I will choose Document Library. I can either associate this form with an existing document library, or create a new one. Again, I can promote fields from the form. If I wanted to have any information entered by the users displayed within the document library, I would just click this Add button and choose the appropriate field. Here I will choose to promote the Username field, so that when the form is filled in, the name entered here will be shown in the library. And now I just need to click Publish. This will create my new document library and associate the form with it as a template. Here I have the new document library. You will see the column here for username value. If I click on this new button here, my form will open up for me or anybody else accessing this library and I can fill it out. So there I have my filled out form stored in the SharePoint library and the value entered in the name field has been promoted. 
So there I've described a couple of different ways you can use to share the form templates you created with the users who need to fill them out.